Hey, what's up everybody? It's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another video here in Rise of the Kings. So guys, today's shout out is going to go to General. He hit me up here in the game and yeah, thank you for watching all the videos, General. Um, Kingdom 134, shout out to you guys. If you could, come check out the channel, the rest of uh, General's Alliance. I'm going to start trying to give shout outs to you guys, um, you know, that send me messages and stuff in the game. If you guys want, you can add me on Discord, join the group chat there. I talk to any anyone that, uh, you know, wants to hit me up and chat about the game. You can find me there. So guys, I'm going to start still hitting two TVN a day, no matter what. Now, right now, it's the middle of the day. So I think like at night when they're asleep and all their troops are home is when I'll be able to zero them. But right now, I've scouted. Let me show you how many I've scouted. I've been sitting here for 20 minutes scouting. And the server is about to reset. So we're just going to win one mortally before I go to bed. So you can see most of them have their troops out gathering. But this guy's got 72,000 troops on him. And he's got some iron and silver that we'll take in the meantime. So I'm going to, I should probably save my one day 10% surge skill for tonight. Okay, yeah, I'll save that. We'll just use urgent care. I've got all my buffs on already. So let's go ahead and hit this guy. You know, it'll, it'll at the very least teach us some things about like, you know, how strong our attacks will be. I got some T9, T9 cavalry now. That's good to see. I don't need any of those. I can use maybe a few of those. Maybe 400 of those. And then the rest cannon. That's all we need. There's the cannon. Cannon are so strong. Alright guys, you already seen me put urgent care on. It's active. So fast, Mammoth has absolutely no time to react. Boom, there's the hit. And now we'll come home and shield. So let's see, let's see how wounded how wounded we got him. Not as wounded as I thought. He held up pretty well. Maybe this extra, maybe the extra 10% um, boost would have helped, but he did pretty well. Here's the report. You can see all the kills, <laughs> literally all the kills went to the T8 cannon. That's when you know it's a little bit broken when the cannon are the only thing that get the kills. But yeah, he, he held up pretty well. I get 5k T7 T7 guard, which really helped him. Um, guys, give me some tips. What do you think I could do to improve this? Um, you know, last the last hit we had was a lot better. I actually capped the guy. I'm really surprised. I think it's because he had a lot of like mid tier and higher tier troops. He didn't have a lot of low tier like T1, T2, T3. Usually, when you have a lot of those, that's when you can really cap someone and fill their hospitals up with low level troops. And you don't kill many of the big troops. So guys, that's a big tip to you. When you play these games, especially Rise of the Kings, make sure that as you upgrade, you're killing off your lower troops. Now don't just kill them off mindlessly. Don't be stupid about it. But rainbow your troops. Like, say you're going on a march. Let's get, let's go um, let's go to this tile. Actually, there are no tiles in this hive. Let's say you're doing your march. And you already have your main troops in. Make sure you set like a few of those, a few of those, a few of those in each of your layers. You see what I mean? So that way you kill. I've already killed mine off many times over. But a lot of people don't. They just farm the whole time. And then when they get hit, their hospitals get filled with all their small troops. They don't have any room for their big troops. So you'll kill off the small troops and it'll save you the big troops. So be smart about, you know, preserving troops for the future preserving your big troops by killing off your small ones is basically all I'm saying guys it's an old term we call it a rainbowing back in the day you would rainbow your marches that way it kills off the small troops and leaves the higher troop tiers so for instance if you had t10 if you sent t10 infantry well okay let's do cavalry since it's a little different if you would send t8 t10 cavalry then you would send like a thousand t8 cavalry as well then instead of losing, let's say, 200, 300 T10 cavalry, you would lose the 1,000 T8 cavalry. So you're trading off 300 T8 cavalry, or 1,000 T8 cavalry to save three or 400 or 500 T10 cavalry. So you're saving two troop tiers, you know, worth in levels of troops, and you're doing a decent exchange rate, basically, is all it is. So you're saving your high tier, getting rid of your low tier. So guys, that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to get a skill hidden for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You know what, Team Rings, Jerk, smash the thumbs up button. And tomorrow, hopefully, Toa and I can find someone to actually full-blown zero. Because that's what I really want to do. Alright guys, thank you. Peace.